Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. We are celebrating the Paschal season. I hope you all had a blessed Pascha. And um, just remember that even if we weren't in our churches, we still got to celebrate together the, the joy of the resurrection of Christ. And before we can celebrate the resurrection of Christ, though, we cannot separate it from the cross of Christ. And it is sad what happened to Jesus. I remember teaching little kids about the crucifixion of Christ years ago, and I asked them the question, where was Jesus crucified? Do you know where he was crucified? It's Golgotha, Golgotha, the place of the skull. Golgotha is the place of the skull. Well, when I taught those kids many, many years ago, um, we ended up writing a song that very night at family night, and it's called Golgotha. And one of the essential questions we asked was, why would they do such a thing? Why would they kill Jesus? I guess they didn't know what his death would bring. And in the song we sing, because he died, he gave us life. All right, so we're gonna sing a song called Golgotha. The words to this song will be attached for you as part of this video. And we hope you can sing along if you know the words. All right. Jesus was crucified at Golgotha. Oh, Jesus was crucified at Golgotha. Oh, Jesus was crucified at Golgotha. And Golgotha is the place of the skull. Why, oh, why would they do such a thing? Oh, why, oh, why would they do such a thing? Oh, why? so we have to be ready. All right, this past week in the church, we celebrated a special saint, and he happens to be my patron saint. Anybody know who we celebrate on April 23rd? If you said St. George, give yourself a high five, good job. St. George is a very popular saint, especially in the Antiochian uh, Archdiocese and tradition. There's a lot of churches named St. George. I like St. George. My baptismal name is Georgette, so he's my patron saint. And when we celebrate our, our, patronal, our paternal feast days, if you will, our names days, we it's kind of different than a birthday because on your birthday people do stuff for you, but on your names day, you do things for others. You can make breakfast, lunch, or dinner. You serve your family and your friends on your names day to honor your saint. Because Christ said, I came to serve not to be served. So the song we're gonna sing is all about St. George. I can relate, St. George and I both have curly hair. So listen up to the song and you'll find out a lot of things about St. George and how he wasn't afraid to stand up for what he believed in. He was a soldier at the time when people were getting crucif uh, excuse me, persecuted for being Christians. Okay, so listen up for some names in there. You'll hear the name of a really mean emperor. Maybe you guys know who he is. All right, it's called Patron St. George. Hey, everybody want to tell you about a saint. Happens to be my patron saint. So fascinating is life you cannot forge. By golly, his name is George. Gonna tell you about George by George. G-E-O-R-G. E. George, the great martyr who Special that he's known all around 
anybody want to tell you about us? Saint happens to be my patron saint. So fascinating, his life you cannot forge. By golly, his name is George. Gonna tell you about George by George. G E O R G E George, the great martyr. patron saint too. If you don't know who your patron saint is, ask your parents. If it's not your actual name, it could be the name you were given at your baptism. All right, our last song is a fun song. It's called The Body of Christ. It reminds me of what my priest said on Sunday during the sermon after the gospel was that even though we're not all together, we're still one body. We're one body. And as a church, we are one, whether we're Greek, Russian, Romanian, Bulgarian, Antiochian, whatever our ethnic background is, we're one. And it's been a blessing during this pandemic to join forces with other jurisdictions that are Orthodox so that we can provide materials and resources for you all at home. So God willing, we'll be all united. I know we are united already in our faith. Um, and this song is called The Body of Christ. And God willing, we'll all be back in church together united. Put your hard hats on, put your hard hats on, and your tool belts too, and your tool belts too, cause we got some building to do. Get your hammers and nails, get your hammers and nails, grab your two by fours, two by fours, we're building the church, mine and yours. We're building up, blah, 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 blah.
job. Keep singing, keep being positive, keep being a light, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.